Joe Tallis and Ian Joy back with you and joined now by the new head coach of New York City Football Club. And Nick, uh, first off, congratulations. Second, how's your preparation for this game been different as a head coach than when you were the assistant coach? Well, firstly, thank you so much. Um, I appreciate the support. Um, I think for us it's about being the same team as we've been all season. You know, our league position reflects the, the work ethic and the the commitment of the team and you know we've played some really good football this year and we, we we've won some football games so for us the preparation's been about continue to be consistent and continue to work on the things that have helped us and contributed to us picking up so many points and, and getting us in the league position that we are well, it's great to see you in charge now. Congratulations from me also, Nick. And I know you have worked so hard to get to this stage to be in charge. And now you're the man. So now you're the man that we're coming after as well. If these boys don't play well. But what I want to know personally from you, your journey, it was a big decision for you to bring yourself over here to the United States to commit to Major League Soccer and New York City Football Club. Now you're in charge. Was this always the vision for you that one day maybe you might be the main man? Um, I don't think it was come here and be the head coach of New York. I think for sure it was come away from being a head coach within the group to go into a phase of learning and developing, go as an assistant in one of our clubs to contribute to try and get that club successful, work with an experienced coach like Ronnie and work with high-level football players that will, you know, stretch me, that will make me you know, get me out of my comfort zone and, and that will develop me as a coach. So yeah, of course I wanted to be a head coach and I came here to um, become a better head coach. Maybe the, the role has come unexpectedly because of Ronnie's decision to go back to Europe. And, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. I'm, I'm confident that I can continue the development of the team and, I, and I'm ready to, to be the guy that leads the team. Nick, we saw your resume, the success you had with the Manchester City women. What does that experience and what you learned from that, how does that help you here today? Um, I think, you know, this is uh, an iconic stadium and, you know, we have uh, an incredible following and, and we have really good players. And that was no different at Manchester City women, you know, taking the team uh, in front of 45,000 at Wembley in FA Cup finals and, and Champions League semi-finals. So I feel that I have the experience of, of taking a team in a stadium like Yankee Stadium. And, you know, I, I've worked within the group for... You know, this is my 16th, 17th season in the group. So, you know, I've been developed as a young coach here. I've been developed as a head coach and, and, and moving from being the assistant now into the head coach's role. You know, I feel I, I've been prepared for this role. And, and you know, I just want to get going now and get some games in. Yeah, of course, you've put in the hard work to get to the stage. And this is an opportunity. It's like gold dust. You're now in charge of the Major League Soccer champions. And we all saw the song there a moment ago. You're certainly creative off the field as well as you are on the sidelines and as well as you are on the training pitch. But you also inherit a tremendous squad of players, a group of players with great leadership and also a lot of young players who are still willing to develop and learn and they want to learn from the best. But what I want to know from you, Nick, is the leadership. How important is the, the group of leadership that you have in that locker room and also out there in the starting 11 today going to be for you? I think it will be really, really important. And I think, you know, we have, I totally agree, we have some, some firstly, some really good football players, but we have some great leaders in that group. And that was, that was apparent last season when we went through the playoffs away, you know, three consecutive games and three consecutive wins to lift the trophy. Um, this week has been a really good week for me personally because those guys have shown me incredible support. They have shown and continued the commitment that they have to, to New York City Football Club and to continuing the work ethic that our football team has. You know, it's a, it's a huge... Um, it's a huge benefit that we have to have those guys and for them to work as hard as they do because they're talented football players. So, yeah, we will, we will, we will lean on them. We need them to show that leadership. And especially in this period of change when a coach leads mid-season, you have to rely on your experience to make sure that maybe the inexperienced players just continue to play football and enjoy their football. You know, me and Joe have had the honor of the last seven years of uh, being the voice for the fans, but also sort of being in between the club and the supporters. And it's been great sometimes for us to share our opinion, our voice. But what would your message be to the supporters who are not only going to be in attendance today, but also who are watching at home for the season ahead? Continue to support us, continue to be that, that I know it's a cliche, but continue to be that 12th player for us in those moments because this league is so competitive that 
of course we're champions but we're still going to have difficult moments in games because we're coming up against real quality whether it is home or away you know we have a a great group of away following fans that come and support us and just continue to be themselves you know i love playing here at yankee stadium and when we're at city field because the fans make incredible noise and, and and the players feel that the players love to play at home and the players feel it so continue to make noise continue to support us and in those difficult moments push us over the line all right nick cushing he's the new gaffer thanks for a few moments Nick. Thank you. appreciate it all the best all Thank right you. nick cushing